Good evening and welcome to Breaking Ground. I'm Azaz Kupalakrishnan. Now, the top focus at this hour is the Karnataka state budget that was presented in the Assembly today. And while, in fact, the state government has announced uh, new roads for Bengaluru as well as drainages and other developmental projects, the focus of the opposition was on the 1,000 crore rupees that have been allocated for renovation of temples and muts. And this includes a special allocation for the construction of a Ram temple. Now, protesting in a unique way, the leader of opposition, Sidhra Maya, came into the assembly with a saffron flower tucked behind his ear. The BJP, of course, called this a uh, disrespect to the state budget. Meanwhile, DK Shivkumar, the state president of the Congress, went a step further and said that uh, he had built over 400 temples, saying that it was nothing compared to what uh, he himself had done. A massive war of words ensued inside the assembly. Let's listen. I am telling you, let the do. I, I, I have constructed 400 temples I say, in my constituency. What Ramandiri will construct? Who said Rama? It is Ramnagaram. Already the temple, a small temple is there. What is there? What he can do? What he can do? Nothing. He is there trying to take emotionally. This is just to overcome their weaknesses. They have been exposed to be the most corrupt government. They have not given anything to the common man. That is the reason they are trying to project a mandir, a masjid, bring a communal polarization. And that is the way they think that they can win the hearts of the people because they know they have delivered nothing and people are very upset with them. And not only has the BJP called the bid to protest with flowers on the floor of the Assembly, a denigration of the State Assembly's budget, but also Health Minister uh, Ske Sudhakar has in fact uh, accused the Congress of blocking the construction of any temple and to that extent saying that this is the party's anti-Hindu stance. It is, it is really, I have never seen such a irresponsible and foolish opposition. It is a foolish act and uh, they, they don't have anything to say. Therefore, they want to do this kind of a nonsensical thing and people know that. That's why I said that they were putting flower on the ears of people all these years by uh, de deceiving them. Now people are ready to put flower on, on Congress. That has been explained. See, it is fair for them. They are right. Next time, they will not be here to listen to my budget speech. Of course, it's a political statement by Congress. And especially when you have seen that they had their uh, flowers in their ears, that shows uh, the political bankruptcy of the Congress leaders. They have totally prejudiced. They had come with a plan just to showcase that this budget is not a good one. There is nothing wrong in constructing a temple. Let them say it is wrong, which they have been telling, which they have been appeasing one segment. Let them say it in open that building a temple in India is wrong. While the government is very keen on realizing its dream of replicating a Ram temple on ground in Ramnagar uh, uh, and of course uh, is yet to open up the exchequer for this replica of the Ayodhya Ram temple, Times Now meanwhile had visited the spot earlier in January. Take a look at this ground report. On the lines of Ayodhya Temple in Uttar Pradesh, the Karnataka government has also announced that the Ram Temple in Ramnagar district of Karnataka will be similar to the model of what, ha what is being built in Uttar Pradesh. They say that it will be the most famous Ram Temple in South India at Ramnagar, where the fame famous Sholay Fit film shooting was shot. This is the place where the Ram Temple is built. I'm right now at the main temple of uh, Ram Temple here at Ram, the Ramadurga. Uh, and uh, this is the pl place in Ramnagar district of Karnataka. And Karnataka government has allotted 19 acres of land for this uh, construction of this temple. They say it will be a very iconic temple and with the main temple in South India. In fact, they say that there will be a big construction of the Ram Temple here. And UP Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath will be invited for the inauguration of this temple. Rama ille utte do bando vanvasa mare danta jaga ido Raman itiasa ide itiasa iranta jaga ke sarkar inda yeno abirudhi agila illi orge sarkar inda 
ಅಯೋಧ್ಯನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಅಯೋಧ್ಯನ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಾಡಲಿ ಸಂತೋಷ ಆದರೆ ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ವಾಸ್ತವ ಇದೆ which the party has been uh, jds has been it comes in the their constituency and the bjp need not interfere in their constituency they, if there is any issue they will build it and even today sachin pilot targeted the this bjp government along with several senior leaders here in karnataka saying that that shows that the building, the build construction of ram temple coming in the uh, budget shows that the bjp has lost the plot in fact they are losing the state the bjp power says this is a temple which has been neglected by successive governments and like the uh, are getting taken inspiration from the ayodhya temple in uh, uttar pradesh they're going to make it the biggest ram temple in south india in fact when we visited the priest said that this has been very iconic it has uh, they, they say that it has both cultural and historical significance but it has been neglected by by the successive governments in fact the temple priest said that then it needs an urgent repair too uh, which they are hopeful and they are happy that it's being be done it's being recognized and they are also happy that uttar pradesh chief minister is coming to inaugurate uh, this temple if then it, if it when it is constructed uh, the uh, coming of uttar pradesh chief minister also led to controversy when uh, uh, kumar sami has a post it saying that he should not be brought in fact somebody from Kar- karnataka should be invited for inauguration of the temple and he said right. that the bjp government should stop playing politics over it in fact if it is any construction work needed the jds party will do it not the bjp all right ahead of the elections over there certainly of course politics heating up on the ram temple in ramnagar of karnataka imran thank you so much for joining us and let's take this across to our guest joining us with us now is prashant gs who is of course a spokesperson of the bjp george kurian political analyst is joining us george kurian the biggest uh, complaint of the bjp is that why are you protesting against this allegation to temples and mats it shows the congress's anti hindu stance is the claim being made by the bjp's leaders your response to that george kurian so well, madhav uh, not really uh, congress is not against any particular religion or you know it doesn't believe in appeasement politics of appeasement uh, having said that today uh, cm uh, basvaraj has gone ahead and uh, presented his budget for the year 23 24 and uh, it, that's going to be the his last budget and uh, uh, the terms uh, their uh, the term is ending in this year so I, i strongly believe that you know bjp has not given much importance to uh the development projects as such uh, in the budget and uh, this is just an election gimmick where you know they're trying to bring in uh, politics of religion and uh, bringing in ram temple <clears throat> allotment of 1000 crores towards the ram temple so this is uh, this is just an election gimmick and uh, i strongly believe that karnataka is a place where uh, god is god shiva and other gods are worship in uh, in uh, most of the region and uh, they are bringing ram into karnataka this is the uh, a politics of appeasement the sapran party needs to uh, think uh, rethink about uh, their strategy or uh, uh, going forward uh, towards the assembly election ji yes this is the politics of appeasement that the bjp is indulging in in an election yeah no announcements for development work is the claim coming in from george kurian your response to that prashant adasi this is the mindset of the congress is clearly exposed here in saying that they are trying to polarize gods now forget religions now they are saying shiva is respected in and worshiped in karnataka and not ram see lord ram shri rama is maryada purushottama and who is revered across the country across the country and around the world all the devotees are, are there across the world people worship worship him as maryada purushottama ram where is the question of saying that karnataka has uh, more shiva bhakts and why is ram bring brought in here that's totally irresponsible statement of uh, mr jarsh kurian uh, i i said that to say that he's a congressman to say that he is a political analyst but he's uh, taking the side of the congress argument the mindset is of the congress he may be a political analyst no personal uh, uh, issue there in so far as the budget is concerned definitely it's a pro development budget because the silk cocoon market in shidlagatta a small taluk in chikbalapur district at the cost of 75 crores for fisheries there is lot more to be done lot lot has been done and even in fact for bangalore 9698 crores has been allocated or i'm losing the audio bangalore there if you are prashant let me take that question right back uh, to george kurian george kurian you are trying to polarize god itself when you say that uh, ram is not worshiped in karnataka and only shiva is worshiped that's far from the truth the bjp leaders say ram is worshiped across the country number 1 and number 2 there were announcements for roads for development projects for sanitation projects in bengaluru so perhaps it would be little economical with the truth to say that there is no developmental announcements at all well madhav uh, i've been taken in the wrong context what i what i mean is that you know karnataka is a state where uh, 
Lord Shiva and other gods and goddesses are uh, mainly worshipped. Uh, I, I'm not saying that Ram is not worshipped, but uh, they're trying, uh, the, the Karnataka government and the Saturn Party is trying to bring in the Ram Temple agenda. This is nothing but an election gimmick. Uh, George Kuri, you know the name of the district where this temple is coming? The people of Karnataka are fed up with Sir, do you know the corruption? name of the district where this temple is coming? The name Ram of the Nagar. district is Ram Nagar, sir. Ram Nagar. And you are yeah, saying there is, no Ram, there is nobody who believes in Ram in Karnataka. I, I mean, that's a bizarre line of uh, argument, Ram. isn't it, George Kuri? I'm surely you would agree. I, I, I did not say there is nobody that who, who, who believes in uh, Ram, God Ram in, in Karnataka. I'm saying that, you know, Karnataka is the state where... Lord Shiva and other gods and god goddesses are uh, worshipped in in in, in, uh, in a large number. So that that's the point I'm trying to make in here. And but I, I strongly believe that so there are a large number of Hindu gods. Uh, there are a large number of Hindu gods. Who's to say who's to say who should be worshipped and who should not be? So, so, so what is your argument? Anybody who worships Lord Ram is automatically a BJP supporter? Father, they don't is that have what an argument. They're, tra they're trying to bring in some uh, issue which is non-existent. Now they're trying to uh, polarize between followers of different uh, uh, for different followers who worship different what? Hindu gods. We say that we are Mukkoti Devata Gadu. There are more than three crore uh, uh, gods what we revere in the Hindu culture. To say that this point it, so and so has got more followers, so and so has got less followers, what is this? And, Where are we heading towards? Are, are we counting, are we counting the followers of a particular God in trying to create a temple there? Definitely not. This argument of Mr. Kurian is totally baseless. Ma Ma there are, I am able to, to prove with, it. I am able to prove it. Uh, uh, one second. One second. I will come to you. George Kurian, I will come to you as well. I will give George Kurian a chance to rebut as well. One second. Yeah, Please yeah, no, no, certainly, and uh, I will give George a chance to rebut that. But Prashant, the question that I think George is basically asking, and I think it's a pertinent question, is that we all know it's an election year. In an election year, you are announcing the construction of a Ram temple, a replica of the Ram temple in Ayodhya. Yogi Adityanath is coming down to inaugurate it, which is being opposed by the JDS, as we very well know. The question that many are asking is that is all of this positioning ahead of the assembly polls in a bid to garner votes? That's the pointed question to you. Now, let me answer that. You look at Mr. D.K. Shukumar's statement itself, who is a Congress chief. What did he say? What is the name? Name itself is Ramnagara. He has admitted that he himself has constructed about 400 temples in the area. So, where is the opposition? Just because we have promised to construct a Ram Mandir there, and also successive governments are probably not up to the mark in uh, upkeeping of the temples, we are also wanting to bring in a new Ram temple in Ramnagara. And Ram, there's a, uh, Hill there called Ramadevara Betta. It's even named after Lord okay. Ram. Quick, so, quick, so quick, 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 30 second response from... And let, let, let me... Okay, uh, limited time here. Yeah. I want a quick, quick response from George Kurian. Quick response from George. We have limited time. Prashant, we have limited time. I want a quick response from George Kurian and then we wrap up this debate. Yeah. Bringing law and order in the state, there were there are so many instances of communal violence in the state. They have, they have failed to put in the law and order in the state. And I'm sure this, this is Ram Temple budget announced for the Ram Temple. It's just an election gimmick. There's nothing... nothing a uh, very uh, intent intent uh, about the Ram Temple that they have in mind. Okay, mother, all right, also all right. We'll you. have to leave it there. Prashant G.S. and George Kurin. I'd like to thank both of you for joining us. We are completely out of time. We have some breaking news coming in.